are filming a documentary entitled My Backyard. Here we are in a backyard and we see some nice plants behind us. We have a lovely group of birch trees and there's a few over there. Now, panning this way, over here we have a lovely lilac tree entitled Syringa in Latin for those of you scholars. Now, this tree flowers in early spring, lovely fragrant blooms, and it is very indigenous to this climate. Here's a lovely group of roses. We have pink and white, purple, yellow, more deep burgundy, purple, pink. And there you have it. That completes this week's narration on My Backyard. See you next week. Hey boys. Tyler Neil Gatrat, uh, October 28, 1984, and we're going to interview the winner of the no, <laughs> Doug right. Green. As the fastest walker, eh? The fastest walker, and Matt Clark, another celebrity. He's a runner. famous handicap athlete. With an, uh, that's yeah. right.
Okay, champ. Tell us how you did. I struggled. It was <laughs> awful. I went all the way out, and then I didn't know the turnaround point, <laughs> so I kept going. And I went about 50, uh, no, about 30 feet beyond the point, and the turnaround came back. Oh, but so you would have been number one. You're no. Saying. That's your excuse no, for I would not, not being have been number, number one. one. Thank you. Sophie, have you seen Matt yet? No, he's not inside yet. We were wondering where he is. No, I didn't. He is over time. Here comes Matthew. Here he comes. The hand in the cast, waving. That hand has kept him back. There he is. He's crossed the finish line. <laughs> Matt. Lovely mother dearest. How are you today? Matt, you did very, very well. Did your hand hold you back very much? No, no, I pushed it up ahead. Okay. Come on now, Matthew. We don't see you that often. He was home five minutes and he began running in this race. We're very proud of him. <laughs> Doing his walk. That was great. This is the... Well, here we are after having run uh, the big race, and I'm here to ask Matt Clark on fall break from his senior year at Princeton to tell us what his pre-race strategic plans were in running this unequivocal physical endurance test. Well, Tim, let me tell you, before the race, I had my strategic plans all mapped out. I was going to start out strong, use the central as a, as a central part as a transi transitional period where I can just go a little slower, and then I'm going to have a weak finish. And after having run this test of endurance, how does your view of how you finish compare to your pre-race plans? Did you fulfill your strategic strategy? Well, in a way, it was very close. I had a good, strong start and a very weak finish. I was right on target. That's very good. A man who sets his goals low and meets them.